After installing your column eave purlins, you should begin assembling your rafters. As with your columns, best practice is to do as much work on the ground as possible to reduce the amount of work that needs to be completed on a lift. Lay the seeds for your rafters out on the slab. Best practice is to lay each rafter out in the portal where it will be assembled, letting the ends of the seeds touch the columns on the ground. Prop the apex end of your C off the slab so you can reach both sides of the C while connecting the other components. Double rafters should be stacked back to back. Your apex bracket will fit in between the C's, connecting the two webs. Install nuts and bolts and finger tighten. Install the apex brackets by slipping the cut ends of the C in between your rafter C's. Insert your nuts and bolts and finger tighten until all components are connected. On a single rafter, install the apex bracket and the cut part of the apex brace on the outside of the webs. Your braces and C's should be oriented in the same way so that the flanges are facing the same direction. As single rafters are more difficult to lift into place without bending, best practice suggests you should attach a small C to the single rafter with self-drilling screws. This C will secure the rafter during the installation and can be removed once the rafter is connected to the columns via the haunch brackets and knee braces. The C used to brace your rafter can be a piece that won't be needed until later in your installation. You can also order an extra piece with your material list or keep a few on hand for this purpose in your shop. 